Hi everybody, it's your old pal Chuck, and I'm back with a very special review. This is a box from Fun Publications, which means it is the first figure in the figure subscription service line. Um, this is basically how it came shipped to me. Um, there were three stickers on it, two around the side that were already popping off, that basically said one scourge, so we know who this is. It was also revealed on Twitter. And there was one across the bottom that was covered by the invoice tab. Opening it up, this is how the figure came packaged in a foam core, and the instructions and such were underneath. I just took them out. Now, I don't know if this is how they're going to be shipping all their figures now, including the uh, member incentives, but I was expecting the traditional poly bag in the box type of deal. So, this is a little nicer, but. I'm sh not sure that the figure was as protected as it could have been. As we all know, um, Scourge is a black repaint, or predominantly black repaint, of the Hunt for the Decepticons G2 Optimus Prime mold. This is, of course, being an homage to the original Robots in Disguise Scourge that was a repaint of the G2 Laser Optimus Prime. As you can see, he's predominantly black. There are some tur turquoise striping going down the sides and the front. The um, front windshield is of a translucent red, same color as his sword. Um, there are on each side inverted G2 Autobot symbols. I think that's a little bit of a change as on the original robots or uh, RID scourge it was inverted just regular Autobot symbols but um, yeah so this is a pretty cool figure silver on the smokestacks let's get to the transformation before we begin let me just say um, transforming to robot mode is a lot easier than going from um, robot mode back to vehicle mode and I'll as we go, I'll point out along the way why. First, what you want to do is come in on the sides and flip down these panels. Next, what you want to do is come around behind and go ahead and flip up that rear flap. And doing so will free up the tires and what have you. Next, what you want to come and do is bring down the arms just like sh so folding them out into position along the shoulders like that uh, I should mention as an interesting aside um, this is the original version of the mold and not the modified version that was done by Takara since it has that secondary uh, peg that's made out of the clear plastic coming back behind the figure I'm um, just going to go ahead, split the legs, and remove the tow hook, which will become his sword. Now this, going back into vehicle mode, that'll be a pain to peg it in, line up the legs, to fold that flap down so it fits into place. That is due to the fact that there's um, ball, the legs are ball jointed, and the um, swivel cut is very high up so sometimes it's very hard to have things lined up properly next what you want to do is go ahead and fold up and around the panels on uh, the top of the leg if it looks like it's a little tight it is yours might be different I've always said I prefer something a little tighter than a little looser Next, what you can go ahead and do is um, take the wheels, and this is a very fun part of this transformation, rotate them around, and then slide them in on the track that they're attached to, to fill in the gaps in the leg, like so. And sometimes it's a little fiddly to get it done. But they do go in. They fill in those gaps very nicely. And it's a great, it's a little ingenious movement. Come to the 
this one just to there we go and slide them in just like that like they do get stuck sometimes but hey that's what happens next we're going to do the feet um, what you want to do is you can do it from the side here go ahead um, flip that rear piece down unpeg the foot from the bottom and swing it all the way back on that ball jointed hinge do it on this side flip that rear section down and then unpeg the foot and bring it back so we can have them standing let me adjust the camera okay now we're working on the upper body I'm gonna come around to the back section here well first what you can do is go ahead and close this um, if you remember from the original G2 figure that's gonna become a sheath of sorts for the sword um, you're gonna I would say come in from underneath just like this with your finger push back on the uh, robot head bring it all the way out fold it all the way out and then bring it back forward like so okay once you have the head in place go ahead fold in these side panels which are very important to do if you want anything to work yeah and then what you can do is flip the chest piece up and then slide it down and it will basically peg into place now to finish off robot mode you're going to go ahead swing the arms around swing the hands around just like so to get to robot mode to get to the finished robot mode for articulation Scourge who was using the new head uh, that was shown in the Optimus Prime instructions can go left and right look down a lot and really can't move back at all he has bold uh, swivel shoulders that really can only go forward and back he can bend at the arm actually has a outward lateral movement there under the pads bend at the elbow ball jointed wrist and he has a little bit of the uh, GI Joe articulation where his hand can go up and down that is to handle the sword actually did not see that on any other figure no waist articulation but he does have ball jointed hips and this is where this is that cut I was talking to you about that it's basically the it rotates at the ball joint but it can rotate further and that sometimes causes the legs to uh, become misaligned and that really affects transformation back into vehicle mode uh, single jointed knee but it is somewhat hindered due to the wheels and then he has a full ball jointed foot Again, a lot of that is due to, to get him into some good sword wielding poses. Let's get to his sword right now. Just like on the original Hunt for the Decepticons uh, G2 Optimus Prime, the toe hook becomes his sword. First, what you want to do is fold out the part that will become the handle. Unhook the uh, toe hook part from its little notch here. Slide it back and then fold it down and around over the handle it all click into place and you have a very nice sword wanted to go ahead and give you guys a close-up look at that uh, robot head for Optimus for this uh, Scourge figure it's that um, secondary head as I mentioned that was shown on the original G2 Optimus Prime's instructions has some great um, reddish oranges uh, painted highlights that go into the light piping that's uh, very nice I'm not sure if you, it's really coming up but yeah it's uh, very stylish um, it does it, and, it, and it falls through the whole uh, like 
multiple person, uh, multiple strains, origin of Scourge, that he's, you know, was conceived of different sparks and all this, so he's a confused soul. But yeah, so, um, let's get my uh, final thoughts. I was really hoping that Scourge would be one of the first figures to come out in the figure subscription service line. This is a good, great figure. Um, you know, again, quality tolerances, I don't know. So I would say he was, he's good to great. The transformation back to vehicle mode, as I mentioned, is a bit of a pain. Hence why I went from vehicle to robot. Also, that's what he was packaged in. But... Um, if you have a chance to pick this up on the secondary market, I would, but I wouldn't pay more than $50. If you're part of the figure subscription service, you have something really nice to look forward to if you haven't gotten them yet. Uh, this is your old pal Chuck for Scourge. We'll see you next time.